Video 3. Preparation for slide G. Comparing two shapes to see if they're congruent. Plan. Take a screenshot of a triangle and quadrilateral you made. Insert the shape into the Google slide. Superimpose your shape over the shape in the slide. I'll give an example of how I took screenshots of the triangles from video 2. You'll use the same idea to take screenshots of your shape and insert it to slide G to compare it to Diego's and Jada's shapes. We can take a screenshot of this, crop each triangle, put them in the slide, and see if you can fit one exactly on top of the other. So let's take a screenshot. There are different ways of taking screenshots on different devices. To take a screenshot on a Windows laptop, press the Windows key and the Print Screen button at the same time. You may also need to press the Windows button, the Function key, and the print screen button at the same time, depending on the device you're using. To take a screenshot on an iPad, press the home button and the power button at the same time. To take a screenshot on a Mac, it's the command key, shift, three. On a Chromebook, you press the control key and the show windows button at the same time. So let's take that screenshot. You see your screen flash like that. Now you may see the screenshot right away and you can click on it and you can change it to separate each triangle or you may have the screenshot in your files like this and you can click on it. Once you click on your screenshot then you open any program that will allow you to edit. So if I click on this photo I'll see options. Crop is the option we want. Click on crop and then depending on the program you use you can move it around to get just the triangle you want. Triangle 1. And now we click Apply and save a copy. And so it's saved here as 189. One good idea would be a label on it. Triangle 1. Click on the original screenshot again, 188. Open with the editing program again. Click on it. Option to crop. And I'm going to isolate and get triangle 2. Apply. Save a copy. And it's saving a copy into the same folder. Get back to that folder again in whatever way you can on your device. Now I see once again there's a new screenshot and that's the one we wanted. So I'll label it Triangle 2. One thing that can also help you find the screenshots you want is to go up here to View. And instead of looking at them as a list, you can select large icons. Then you'll see all the drawings you need. Also we know we're searching for triangles. Type in the search box Triangle. And there will be the triangles we need. Now we can go back to our document and let's prepare for our work with slide G. Another reminder, it's very important that you take screenshots of your work from slides E and F so you can compare them to shapes you'll find in slide G. It's also important not to look at slide G until you've finished E and F. I have prepared and shared for your teacher this extra slide as a preparation for slide G. You'll be able to practice techniques you'll use when you compare your shapes to the shapes you find in slide G. Let's say we have Alan's triangle, which is also a 3-4-5 triangle, similar to the one I made. Let's say I didn't know what Alan's triangle looked like, but I knew that the measure of the side lengths was 3-4-5. So I made my triangle. I took a screenshot, as has been shown in this video, and now I want to compare it to Alan's triangle. So what I can do now is I go to Insert, Image, Upload from the computer, and I'm going to look for that triangle. Search for triangle, triangle 1. So let's take triangle 1 and we'll insert it. If you're able to open both windows simultaneously and place them side by side, take the triangle, click it, and drag it right into the slide that you want. You can also click and drag the triangle, hover it over the chrome icon which will open the slide you want and then drop it in. Here it is. 
Now, if I want to compare it to Allen's triangle, right now I can't do that because it's too solid. So here's what we can do. Click the triangle, click Format Options, Adjustments, Transparency. Put it around 30 or 40%. Another setting that can really help in comparing two different shapes is size and rotation. You can flip the triangle around without changing it at all. You can flip it this way as well without changing the shape. You can also rotate it 90 degrees. I can see my 90 degree angle is here, which is angle A. So now I can rotate that until angle A, and the side width length 4 is horizontal. So I rotate, and now I superimpose. Let's put these shapes on top of each other. Well, it needs to be rotated a little more, so I rotate it. Oh, that's too much. Little by little. Now I put the vertices one on top of each other. That's lined up very well. However, now the problem is, it seems like it's not the same. Now, some of you might have said that it looks similar, but it's too big. And that's correct. Triangle 2 is bigger than Allen's triangle. However, let's keep something in mind. This is supposed to be length 4. This is also supposed to be length 4. 4 is supposed to equal 4. What has happened is that Allen's triangle is a miniaturized version of this triangle. You could say they're scale drawings. Allen's triangle is like a photograph of yours. So in order to really compare these triangles, we need to change the size of this triangle so that 4 equals 4. However, we can't just move it around. If you try to move it this way, you'll just distort the shape. That's no good. That will change the relationships between the sides and the angles. So what we can do is lock the aspect ratio which means that it will be proportional, equal fractions. And as we decrease the width, the height also decreases proportionally. We'll need to keep moving the vertices to make sure it's the same. We keep comparing the side lengths that are 4. 4 is supposed to equal 4. Let's keep adjusting by a scale factor until that is the case. Now that's the case. 4 really does equal 4. So now we can compare these two triangles to see if you think that they are the same or not. Revisit questions 1 and 2 and see what you think now. Pause the recording here to record your answers, discuss them, and then press play to continue. And this is just what you'll be doing in slide G. You'll be comparing your 4, 5, 8 triangle to Jada's, and you'll be comparing the quadrilateral you made to Diego's. So students, get your screenshots together of your triangle and quadrilateral and get ready to place them in slide G. Then you can compare them to Jada's and Diego's.